Hmm. We're back. We're live. We're doing, you know, our sort of flagship type of thing about technology. Think Tech Tech Talks <laughs> here on a given Tuesday. And we're calling this show Nab, Nab, Nab. <laughs> nab, Nab, Nab refers to the Nab Show, Nab Show, Nab Show in Las Vegas, which Carol and I attended just last week. Gosh, we're not back a week yet. Uh, and we have special guests from Sony. We have Ted Abe, a sales account manager. And we have uh, Topher Sh uh, Schlund. Yes. Um, uh, what's your title again? Field representative. Huh? Field representative. Field representative, okay. And they work together. We always see them together. Except we didn't see them last, last week. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, saw, we saw Topher. <laughs> and we saw this fabulous, fabulous uh, Sony uh, exhibit at the, at the uh, NAB show. It was 20, are you writing this down? 20,000 feet of exhibition space. Right. It was amazing. It was the largest ex exhibit, exhibit at yes. the NAB show, right? Which yes. in itself was huge, right? Yes. How many people attended uh, It's approximately 300,000 people attend, maybe. <laughs> and us. <laughs> <laughs> and about how many square feet do you think they used at the convention center? Oh, they used uh, every square foot in yeah. there. We I heard know. a million square feet. That sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. million square feet and uh, 100 some odd. 300,000 oh, 300,000. That's major. So, Carol, do the journalistic thing, will you? What is the NAB show? Well, Why did we go? Okay. NAB stands for the National Association of Broadcasters Show. And it isn't a convention in that sense. It's a show where the exhibit space, which is huge, is the primary attraction, it seems, with different luncheons that highlight. We went to the television luncheon, and we went to the technology luncheon, and I believe there was additional luncheons where they have awards, major awards. Um, and then, of course, there are sessions, breakout sessions, technology sessions, um, more opportunities to learn in depth about particular developments, products, uh, goings on, up updates on what's going on in, in, in the business. Uh, for us, it was our first visit, but I understand Topher and Ted have been in the past. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Second, yeah. This is our second year, uh -huh. or my second year. But yeah. I know it's been running for what, like 15 years or something? Actually, longer, longer than, than that. Than yeah. that. Yeah. Longer than that. Right. I met a fellow who'd been there 34 oh, times. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. 34. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I'm, you know, it's really an amazing show. Malcolm McCarr suggested I go last year, but we had a Think Tech event on the same day, so I couldn't go. And I sort of saved that up to go this year, and then we, oh, it was great to go together. And uh, this is really mainstream for ThinkTech because, you know, it's not only the equipment. It's not only, you know, keeping in touch with the broadcasters. It's the sense of where is this whole huge broadcast industry, this juggernaut of information and entertainment going. And you find it there. That's where you find it. I mean, 103, did you say 300,000? 300,000. 300, <clears throat> and a million square feet. And 760 breakout sessions. You know, I mean, you, you, you can't do this in four days. You need four months. That was the fault. <laughs> that was the flaw in the show. <laughs> so, what does this mean to Sony to be there and have 20, 20 did I say 20,000 feet of ex exhibit space? That was, it's our way of showcasing um, our entire product line from the lens to the living room. So we're the because we're the only company that has controlling interest in acquisition to displaying it in your home. And you had it all out there. Too, we had it all you? out there. Yes, we, were. we saw it. Carol and I walked around. It took a long time. <laughs> so what do you mean by acquisition? So acquisition, we uh, develop our own image sensors to develop the cameras. Um, so everything to, needed to. Um, capture what you're trying to tell, your story that you're trying to tell, we can, we provide that. Plus you also have a movie studio. Yes. Right. We've no other. No other manufacturer owns a movie studio. We'll have a movie no. studio and then as you say, all the way to the living room, delivery into the living room. We also have a music. Oh, right. Uh, right. Don't forget music. the music. Yeah. It's so it's music. not just about hardware, but it's about content as well. Mm -hmm. So we're able to, to provide a solution for both. Right. Yeah. How many people did you have at the Sony exhibit? Representing Sony this year. Oh, I have no <laughs> idea. It was a lot. I mean, well, I, it's hard. I, it was hard to navigate through yeah. there. It was right. hard to walk through there. We tried to walk through there and get pictures of it, and it was right. such a crowd everywhere. Right. Right. I was meeting people from. 
different parts of Sony that I was like, oh yeah, I'm from Latin America. All right, <laughs> yeah, I'm from Sony Europe. I was like, oh hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> so all over the world, people from all over the That's world. That's worth there. mentioning, you know. Yes, definitely. As you stumbled into them from every country you can imagine, every continent. Every right. And Korea had a pavilion. China had a pavilion. Of course, we met several. Uh, vendors from Scandinavia, of course Japan had a huge presence. It Lots was exciting. Of mm -hmm. My favorite, my favorite international vignette was uh, this guy uh, from China. It was a whole area. I don't know if you noticed the whole area for the Chinese entrepreneurs, Chinese equipment, <laughs> and he wanted to show me this um, this gimbal affair, and it was you know really not. It was like seven or eight hundred dollars, which is a little you know beyond our range, but it holds the camera steady and all that. And it was really nice. And uh, he said, this is a great one, you know. And he handed me a brochure. Mm -hmm. And the brochure had the name of, a, of a, a significant American manufacturer on it. I said, is the gimbal, you know, this done by this manufacturer? He said, no, we manufacture for that company. Mm -hmm. and, and a couple of them, you know, were we're selling on the side. <laughs> <Now we're laughs> I mean, is it perfect? Right. <laughs> Fell off the truck. You you right. know? <laughs> <laughs> but actually, Jay, just to let you know, the those gimbal prices that you mentioned, those that is actual that's norm right now. Yeah. Seven hundred dollars, that's norm for a, yeah, yeah. a good gimbal, it's about seven hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, his wasn't that much cheaper than the national brand. <laughs> but, yeah, it was like fifty bucks cheaper. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was I, I was drooling all over those gimbals because I was like, Oh, maybe I should pick one up finally this yeah, year. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was very impressed with the, the Chinese guys. They were you know, they were emulating, they were copying mm -hmm. Uh, technology, but they were there in force, and they were serious players in the sense they were, you know, really advocating for their stuff. But everybody was. Uh, just some of the ones that fascinated me. So you, you mentioned, of course, Sony was the biggest, actually, I think you guys were the biggest they, one yeah. in the whole yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you were. Okay. Um, and then, uh, you know, Google was there. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was important. New Tech, our TriCaster, was there. Black Magic, which really got, has gotten a lot bigger, you know, in recent years. Yes. I'm not sure if they're really first tier as I would see it, but they a lot of, a lot of stuff. Adobe was there. We like Adobe, and they were giving classes. Mm -hmm. In fact, there was a whole part of this um, conference that was dedicated to post-production software, mm -hmm. and they had, you know, they occupied one of the three buildings, and every day you could go to classes. You had to pay more. But you can do that. <laughs> okay. uh, what else? Amazon was there. Carol and I talked to Amazon and the thought that maybe Amazon would like our content. Um, and one, one that really pressed, uh, impressed me was Live View. This is an Israeli company that does the bonding technology mm -hmm. where you can send it over a combination of uh, m multiple cell phone accounts right. and uh, also wireless. And you get a you get a pretty good broadband stream there from pretty much anywhere and anywhere there's any of that you know cell phone reception or uh, wireless reception and you can you can send network high high quality high values um, anywhere in the world and I've seen this happen but I never saw one of those machines up close <clears throat> and the and the, the the head you know the the top of the line was about that big twenty two thousand American and the price has come down. Mm. Used to be more, but they were a very uh, crafty, creative company. And uh, Skype, we saw Skype, mm -hmm. lots of Skype. Right. We saw a lot of drones. Mm -hmm. Drones. Was, all do over you do the place. drones? We have a technology partner that we're working with them for our sensors, but we don't actually do them personally. I see. Um, there's a but. So we're, a lot of the image sensors that we make are being used for drones. I see. Yeah. Do you uh, have, when you're there, to being helping Sony, do you have an agenda to go I'm around and look at other exhibits? Um, like. Yes, just to keep things um, that, uh -huh. track of like what our competitors are doing and um, also, you know, sneak away from me. Like? Uh, like the drones. I'm, I'm I a see. big drone enthusiast and like looking at the gimbals and mm -hmm. just, just seeing what, how other technology I can incorporate either with Sony or uh, just other technology in general that I may want to, you know, invest in personally. So who were you impressed by? Which particular? Um, actually, the solo drones, uh, I got to see a QX camera on it, and I was, like, blown away by that because I never 
thought anybody would make anything for a QX camera. Well, what's a solo drone? A uh, solo drone is uh, one of the uh, second largest manufacturer right under DJI. I see. Um, so it's, a, it's one of their competitors, but I mean, it's, it's a very solid platform built on open source. But I, I, they had an actual small little QX camera on there, and I was like, oh, I, asked, I was asking questions because I was like, I want that because I want, I want to be able to put my QX on there. So how much <laughs> is a drone like that? Were they able? It's to about a thousand dollars for the drone. That, that, but again, that's did you bring one back? No. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what the QX camera is? No. So it's a Sony that houses the lens, the battery, the processing, all in a lens barrel. So there's no camera body. It's just a lens has built-in Wi-Fi. So you can actually pair it up with a phone, whether physically attached to the phone or just have it separately and you can remotely control it. Wow, and how much do those cost? Um, anywhere from like 249 on up, yeah. Not bad. It's but it's been out for a couple, me. yes, a while back. Okay. Yeah. Right. Just well, still that, pictures, not moving. And movies and as well. And videos, okay. Yes. You know, Sony has a, an intersection with drones for sure, mm -hmm. because you know what the drones they were showing. This is the National Association of Broadcasters. They weren't showing drones that shot people. <laughs> <laughs> they were showing drones that shot movies. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, I mean, it's all about putting the drone, wedding the drone to the camera, uh, and different cameras, different drones, and vice versa. We saw you must have seen them too. The drones they had were everywhere. I mean, 10, 15 percent of the entire floor space seemed to me to be dedicated to drones, and they were, you know, they were six feet wide. These looked like they were something out of a battlefield, but they were only to take pictures. Right. And they were dark black, shiny. They looked so mean. <laughs> I think this year, in my opinion, it, it's grown threefold over last year. The drones. Yeah, the drones. Yeah. The, drone the drones. Presence. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's all these the netted areas where they put a net around the area. Yeah, right, right. so it doesn't go out. So it doesn't go outside. <laughs> yeah. They showed you all the, the, the manipulation, the you know exact, precise control of the mm -hmm. drone by inch, by millimeter. It was really interesting. You were think. controlling some of them, weren't you? It, it was a control. You could, I didn't, yeah. I didn't. But there were some people there who were really expert and they could, you know, and if you were right on the outside of that mesh, he would take it right to your face, you know, within an inch of your face. And shave, shave. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Ted? Were there any particular, I know you went last year, Yes. that new products or vendors that you might uh, not have been able to see if you hadn't been at NAB? Um, you know, last year when I went, uh, I was impressed with some of the, the computing that's been really shrunken down. So you had more um, companies with like a stick that you just plug into the TV and, you know, it's basically a little computer that runs off that. Um, uh, but is Sony developing something like that? No, no, no. But what's interesting is that our mirrorless cameras, because it becomes so popular, and the, especially the full frame, so you've got a um, camera, mirrorless camera, that can take high quality stills, um, just as go to even better than your traditional DSLRs. And that small compact form factor, you can adapt it to the drones. Yeah. And it allows you to take 4K video and high resolution images. And so, you know, we've been seeing that merge more and more with our high-quality uh, full-frame ca cameras with the drones. So yeah, I mean, exciting. these cameras now, it's like they're, they're all hybrid. I mean, they're all coming together. Yes, it's a, both it's a video confluence. and stills. Yeah, yeah and, and uh, you know, one thing, uh, we haven't talked about this, but one thing is there were a million people running around taking pictures of the conference, of NAB show, mm -hmm. <clears throat> with every kind of camera you can imagine, mm -hmm. uh, every kind of gizmo, you know, and they were like, not showing them off so much, but using them, testing them out, uh, running around, and a lot of people made a lot of video of this conference, and most of them that I saw, anyway, were using DSLRs, because mm -hmm. it's the most efficient way to do uh, short format uh, right. video. One of the things that Jay and I went to see was you talked about 4K. We saw an 8K presentation. Mm -hmm. Was it Hitachi? I think, I think it's NHK. Uh, yeah. NHK. Yes, it NHK. Was a, it was yeah. a Japanese, right? Spectacular. Because well, the 8K. the goal the the goal is for Japan. They want to be broadcasting 8K by the Olymp their Olympics in 2020. May I say lots of luck? Because <laughs> <laughs> I think they're doing test broadcasts now in 4K. Is that right? Yeah. But you got to have a first. You have a system to deliver the signal. Which At 8K, not so easy. How do they do that? Well, right now, from what I understand, they, to, uh, Japan has launched a satellite over. Oh, it's that, a satellite. Yeah, they're they're transmitting 8K over satellite in their country. Or, I'm sorry, not 8K yet, but 4K right now. They're doing tests. 
So they have a satellite over Japan. But you have to have a receiver that yeah. reads the satellite. Yeah. They have a set top box. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was that right? Is that yeah. okay? And talking about the Olympics, the upcoming 2016 in Brazil, uh, NBC announced that they'll be util utilizing Sony 4K oh. cameras oh, great. to record the event. So that's a big plus for well, us. Well, that's one thing, Ted. You know, 4K, mm -hmm. it's the standard already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody talked about 4K. Mm -hmm. I mean, you wouldn't, I mean, really, if you got new equipment or serious equipment, you would, you would buy 4K, wouldn't you? Right, right. Everything's going 4K. Now, we, now we saw, I don't think you were with me, but I saw this movie by Ang Lee. Yes, mm -hmm. that was before I arrived. That was before you came. Um, it was really amazing. I think it was 8K. It was 120 frames per second. And what was the other thing about it? it oh, it was 3D. <laughs> 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 you had to wear glasses. Like, like in the 50s, you had to wear these glasses. They weren't born in the 50s. <clears throat> oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 well, this movie, it was, it was a battlefield scene in this movie and also a, a football scene in this movie. And you felt like you were there. Mm -hmm. I have never had a movie experience with or without 3D, mm -hmm. anything like this. I was next to him and he was getting shot. <laughs> I, I could feel it. Uh, of course, the sound was terrific sound, too. But uh, who, now who did that? Oh, Ang Lee did it. He used every kind of new technology he could find. He, and he made his promise not to tell the plot. Because right. the movie has, so I'm not going to tell you the plot. Right, right. It was 11 minutes, not much of a plot. But <laughs> and then you and I saw one together. That was the Yeah, that AK was the, the yeah. NH. Okay. Um, name dropping, we also attended a lunch, Ang Lee was before I arrived, but the uh, television segment section of the NAB awards, makes these grand awards, and the, um, the host was John Cryer, who was a TV oh, star, right. Two and a Half Men, he was very funny, and they gave the award to Chuck Lorre, who was the I guess the producer, director of many te television shows, but you know there were a lot of sightings of important people. And, and then, then there was, was Kiki, a young, Kiki, yes, Kiki Palmer. Palmer, yeah, good, yes. good memory. Kiki Palmer, she was absolutely stunning. Yeah, she was a young woman. She's in her early twenties. Who's done, but only after early twenties, she I think she has already had ten years of experience yeah. as a movie star and a singer and everything else. She got so, an award. Yeah, she got. She an award. was fabulous. And then that was and that was the television luncheon. Right. Okay. And then yeah. the Wednesday there was another luncheon for the technology luncheon. Yeah. Right. Awards <coughs> too. Awards to that one right. too. Right. That was not as uh, kicky, may I say. Right. <laughs> not as popular. But, you know, and you frankly, a lot of this stuff, and you guys understand it because you live in that world. But a lot of this technology, when those guys start talking about their hardware and the characteristics and you know the the acronyms, God, acronyms. <laughs> You know, when you when you said three hundred thousand, I thought you were talking about the number of acronyms that. <laughs> 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 we I didn't understand a lot. You walk into those seven hundred and sixty uh, breakout sessions, and they they got charts and graphs and oscillation curves and oh, this right. and that. Oh, I don't know what they're talking about. But I was very patient and 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 I was polite, and I sat there for about five minutes. And you didn't sleep very often. <laughs> You didn't fall asleep. Yes, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is how I, I got was going to protect you. But well, you know where all this technology ends up being? Eventually in the consumers' homes, right? Right. Yeah. That's so the goal, right? That's the goal. So because Sony, as Tofu was mentioning earlier, you know, we're the only company that can, can capture, mm -hmm. whether it's 4K, HD, or beyond, um, be able to distribute. We have a Blu-ray uh, disc manufacturing facility. We also make sensors and lenses, et cetera. And eventually, to the living room where you have the the Bravia Sony TVs um, and our cameras, et cetera, that can give you that whole story of capturing, creating, and then eventually seeing it on the TV screen. Yeah, that continuum that Topher was talking about. Mm -hmm. And Sony had some fabulous technology in that 20,000 feet. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was a toy store, really. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, the, the new cameras. Yes. And all those uh, other pieces of equipment that you use in the continuum. They say that about 80% of the high definition content that you see right now broadcasted to your living room was shot on a Sony HD camera. No kidding. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, Sony is remarkable. And I tell you that with due regard for the fact that I'm reading a book, which includes, a, you know, a big part of this book is about Sony. What was his name? Akita Morita? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the story. This is called Pacific, written by a guy named Simon Winchester. Winchester um, was uh, at the East-West Center for a long time, 
and he studied the Pacific and he wrote several stories which he feels define the Pacific as a region. And one of the stories is about Marita. Mm. And, he, and he, tells, he tells you about Marita and his partner, who was more the techie, Marita right. was more the... Salesman, the salesman marketing guy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> he tells you about how they were in the war together in some company in, in, the, in the war. And when, they, when the war was over, they got together and decided they were gonna make, uh, what was it, tape recorders using paper, paper mm -hmm. for the tape with this oxide on the and paint, and paint the paper with the oxide. Okay, and then somebody found that in Winnipeg, you mind if I go on? No. In Winnipeg, Canada, there were some guys building transistors. So they sent, so uh, Marita and his, his partner sent a couple of guys to spend months in, you know, in another time, you guys would have been the guys. <laughs> <laughs> months in Winnipeg learning what a transistor is and how it works because they saw that it was the future. And lo and behold, they were able to get rights to the transistor and put them in radios. Mm -hmm. And that was the beginning of the Sony as we know it. They were so disciplined, so creative. They were really the perfect company. And when you think about it, Sony's emergence in those years, the late 40s, early 50s, um, was it was a world event. It was one of the seven wonders of the business world. What happened there? And you guys are the the progeny of that. You think about that at night when you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we take a minute? You can think about that. <laughs> we take one break, one minute break. Um, that's Ted Abe and Tofer Schlund, and the lady on the far side is uh, Carol Mun Lee, my co-host, my my vice president, my chief operating officer here at ThinkTech. We'll be right back. You'll see. Hello, Panya. I'm the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Education Movers, Shakers, and Reformers. You can see our show every Wednesday at noon at 12 p.m. on thinktechhawaii.com, as well as visiting YouTube and finding the link for the show there. The show is also aired on OC16. We look forward to seeing you on the show. Uh, we have many wonderful guests, uh, including Joan Husted, Corey Rosenley, where we talk about the very important issues of education for our keiki. We look forward to seeing you there. Mahalo. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, citizen journalism from Hawaii, finding the intersection of our sense of place and our place in the world right here at home. Great content for Hawaii from Think Tech. Hello, ha, how you doing? It's me, Angus McTech, wishing you to welcome and join us to see us on Hibachi Talk on Think Tech Hawaii. Join my co-hosts, Gordo the Tech Czar and Andrew the Security Guy every Friday from 1300 to 1345. We look forward to seeing you. We'll talk tech and we'll have some wee bit of fun. And remember, let your wing gang free wherever you be. Hello? Ha! Bingo, we're back. We're here on Think Tech Tech Talks. Nab, nab, nab. <laughs> With uh, Sony, actually. Ted Abe and Topher Schlund of Sony. And uh, we're learning a lot about all of that. Uh, gee, I, you know, that was a, it was a fabulous uh, show. And um, I will never forget it and I will always go back. How about you, Carol? Will you always go back? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> be I'm, not the, right? I'm not the techie part of Think Tank. That's all, Jay. <laughs> I really, though, uh, learned a lot from the, uh, the types of vendors, the breadth of the industry, mm -hmm. where it's going, uh, how fast it's changing, how universal it is. It's, uh, it touches everybody, and it's growing. And the money is, you know, first of all, I mean, it's entertainment, it's, uh, I mean, you, Sony, which is a big part of it, is, is a kind of mm, an indicator of how huge this is. Uh, all those people, all that floor space, uh, and, and these gizmos were expensive, some of them. I saw a, a, a floor, a high-tech floor, I mean, you put the cables underneath the floor, you know, and they put these aluminum panels on the top. Um, you could put a floor like that in our studio for <laughs> <laughs> Fifty, hundred thousand dollars. Ah, okay. I saw a wall. Where a lot. Do you see these walls? A video wall. It's actually a monitor, and it comes with interlocking pieces, oh, nice. and each piece is its own monitor, mm -hmm. and you plug them into each other. And you know, a fifty-foot wall, two hundred thousand dollars. Some of those cranes. You put the cameras on the mm -hmm. end of this, you know, fifty-foot crane. Some of the drones. I mean, some of the equipment that we saw really expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah. So your lots point, of trucks. We saw trucks. trucks. We saw satellites. Satellite trucks. We saw. And you know what? The the idea you mentioned this is that uh, an election year, <clears throat> and yeah. and all the time really, uh, there's a huge 
Um, you know, entertainment and news is big business. You guys are right in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that means that there's money there. And the news companies, the uh, entertainment companies, all the tech companies involved in broadcasting have money because it's, a, it's boom time for them. And they can afford these things. And that's why NAB Show is so big. That's why there's money to fund the development of this technology. Mm -hmm. It's a, these are the good times. The yeah, good so times. you have the Olympics, and then we also have election year. Right, yeah. it's a yeah. big year, 2016, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. for uh, broadcast, for media. So let's look at some photos. We have tons of photos that Carol took anyway, and we can begin to get sort of triangulate on what was happening there. Carol? So this is just an overview of um, the floor. We've had, we have uh, several photos of this, this is just a minuscule section where you see some of the brand names that are there. More floors. Microsoft, you see? Aha! Oh, that looks familiar. <laughs> There's Topher and us in front of one of the Sony displays, Beyond Definition. Is that your theme this year? Yeah, well, because we've stuck with that theme. Uh, it's our second year with that theme because we're not only about definition, we're going beyond it. We're going, you know, we have the acquisition to the living room, the lens to the living room. Right. Yeah, that's great. It's a great uh, tagline. Okay, we got more. I know, we, oh, there's more. Yes, that's at the... There's me, and that was the woman with uh, Amazon, I think. And she was going to put us in touch with somebody who wanted to get our content. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. I'm with the red man as opposed to the blue man. <laughs> okay. Again, Jay on the stairs on one of the uh, one of the three different halls. There was the central hall, the uh, north hall, and the south hall, I believe. Right, but some of those halls had second oh, had second two floors levels. on them, so they really mm -hmm. double the size. Humongous. And you got lost. I, uh, next time, I think we have to have a little compass yes. or a GPS thing where Flag. we can find out where we are. And this is uh, Neil Mohan, who is the chief products officer of YouTube. So Jay and I went to hear him speak. He was giving an opening talk. And it was very interesting. Do you know YouTube has over 1 billion users, and 80% of its users are outside of the United States? very forward-thinking and had very interesting uh, comments about where they're going and that the world now is global and mobile. Those are their two <coughs> what a What of, a move. What a move for Google to acquire YouTube. That was really right. brilliant. Right. And that changed not only Google, but it changed the world. Mm -hmm. So this is a picture of us in front of the NAB Public <coughs> Service Desk. And just so you know, what we were able to do is pick up maybe a dozen plus free public service announcements that we will we will play play the nonprofit public non service profit public service announcements of uh, <coughs> entities nonprofits that are of interest to everybody so they were distributing those and we were able to pick up some aha john crier the <laughs> star of two and a half men speaking at the television luncheon he was very good I didn't recognize him at first. Well, I think entirely he, he did a J. Fidel haircut. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's easy? <laughs> <laughs> There's another picture of us in front of one of the Sony portions of your exhibit space. Yeah, that was the opening to your exhibit, I think. Yeah, yeah, one of the openings. Yeah, it's our, our, our booth to, or just an entrance, or a large screen where, where we were giving our uh, demos and uh, talks about our Sony okay. product. With yeah. Topher again. Yeah, explaining something technological, <laughs> I think. <laughs> and that was a, mod, what do you call those, Jay, those? Uh, well, it's, it's, a, it's a monitor, I guess, yeah. and it's also a clock. And but we, it's we the noticed prompter. That. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Yes. It's a teleprompter. Right. Right. It's a huge teleprompter so that people on stage can read that to the audience. Very it's valuable very, to have that. Yeah. yeah, big and expensive. I saw a couple, three booths involving just clocks, high tech clocks yes. mm -hmm. that did all kinds of things, not just tell the time. Right. Yeah. More? Okay. Uh -huh. Ah, one of my favorites. This was a um, product called the Gimbal Rig. Mm, okay. And uh, we met the woman who actually is the daughter of the developer of the rig. 
and uh, she was telling us they're from Norway, and she was Sweden. Sweden, and she, they, she was telling us that her father was a camera person, but started to have back pain, and so on his own he developed this new rig so that it would take the pressure off his back and replace it with pressure, you know, on, on the hips. hips. Exactly. So That's you put neat. this on and it feels this camera is not light. No. But you put this on and it doesn't feel like you're carrying anything. It's right. weightless. It's right. very interesting how they did yeah, that. Yeah, I think we have a picture of Jay wearing one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah, we're, yeah we're not going to show that. <laughs> <laughs> I met her, by the way. Again, the Swedish woman. Yes. Who, she, was part, she was in the company and she was part of uh, the, the team that manufactured these things. I met her at the airport and the line on the airport had all those, this is the TSA line, right? Mm -hmm. It had all those people who were leaving at the same time. It wended its way around the whole airport. There were thousands of people. It took two hours to get through, you know, TSA. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I call a, a conference. <laughs> <laughs> it's another picture of us on the floor. Jay standing there. Many floors, but one. Aha, and that is a satellite. That eyeball is a satellite, and it is used over stadiums, in this case, you know, sports events. Yeah, I, I actually saw that. That was, that, was, that, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was, it was a red one. They had a red yeah. one there. Yeah, that one was a... That's one of the sci-fi movies. The, sky. Yeah. <laughs> the theme of this year's show was called Unleash. Yeah. So that's a copy of the, the program materials. Yeah. Okay, that's well. That's you know much more to uh, to remember. And uh, I have to say that I I used to go to these uh, computer conferences in the '80s when I programmed, but nothing. I've never been to a conference like this. And you guys haven't either. This is the most remarkable conference in the world. In the world, in the world, and it defines our collective future in the world. And you you know you begin to feel the power of it after a while. And the, you know the power of this um, unleashed technology, if, if you will, something is. Yeah. Sorry. Somebody. And um, <laughs> is that if that's for me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can I uh, ask Topher and Ted what in Hawaii? What new products are you looking at for Hawaii that you're bringing back or starting to um, mm -hmm. develop well, or use here? Most of my clients are broadcasters. Um, Hawaii isn't ready for. I mean, going to 4K yet, so we don't have the infrastructure yet. Um, what so do we need to do to get ready for 4K? There's a lot of back-end things that need to happen, so it's the, I, I, I'm not going to speak to that. Because okay. <laughs> it's, it's not my realm. <laughs> but but will, will this whole thing about uh, sending signal on the Internet, you know, that was a big initiative by a lot of manufacturers um, at the show, um, change the way or... Uh, um, adapt to what we need to have for 4K because you know usually you have these heavy cables between the camera uh, you know and the, and the switcher or wherever you're taking it but now they're talking about just putting it on an Ethernet cable or even wireless. Yeah, actually we just started our uh, 4K uh, streaming service called Ultra and it's available on our 2015 and 2016 TVs. And in Hawaii? Mm -hmm. Well it's na it launched nationwide okay. on April 4th and oh. it's just an app that appeared on your Sony TV, and you can uh, stream 4K video off of that. Is that right? Wow. In Hawaii, it has nothing yeah, to do yeah. then with as long as you have some a proper infrastructure. Speed, yeah. yeah, internet yeah. speeds, about 20 it's, to 25 megabits per second. So you can get, there are services you can get 4K content, but uh, I thought you were really looking okay. to, to image capture and how that's going to... I'm interested in that. <laughs> <laughs> Too, I see. Because okay. you can get yeah, IP, IP based um, things you can get uh, cap, uh, 4K content like YouTube, you can broadcast, you can Amazon, download Amazon, Netflix. Amazon, Netflix. Yeah. With the product you just mentioned, mm -hmm. then one could get Amazon, YouTube, Netflix yes, on actually, 4K. And how yeah, much already, is this product? Um, what is so it called? It's called, a, it's an app. It's called oh, Ultra. Yeah, so you, it's just a, one of those apps that you right. hear. Because our TVs are based on Google, the Android TV platform, and there's just an app that just shows up. And you can access it, just like you would access an app of YouTube or Netflix. Right. And just streams 4K. 
Well, 4K is going to change things. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and you can't have 4K on, a, on an older television. You have to have a 4K television. Exactly. Right? And uh, I remember there were a no, mo number of demonstrations showing how much more information gets on the screen mm -hmm. uh, and how you can see so much more detail on the screen. It's really knockout stuff. Well, this year we've been pushing 4K HDR which means high dynamic yeah. range. We saw so much mm -hmm. of that, that right. really blows your That's mind. That's the buzzword for this year. Yeah. So HDR. Getting, right. But there's another word that there was beyond HDR, and I can't remember that acronym now. Yeah. yeah. HDR is the one, high dynamic range. I know, range. there's mm -hmm. another one. Above so you get more contrast and also more color uh, going, uh, being broadcasted into the TV. You're yeah. not talking about VR? Was that the other? Maybe it was. Okay, what that, does that stand for? Virtual reality. Cause, yes, because that that was, was there, a mask. Yeah, there there is that 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 was all in the uh, North Hall, I believe. That was a large VR presence. I think that well, that's um, there's no traction in the market yet, mm -hmm. but that's I think that's something that's a future product, maybe you know, two three years down the line, or depending on how, how fast the development is. So we, it's really I, not for home use then. Well, VR, actually, uh, we are home? releasing one for the PlayStation, and uh, it's going to be this fall. They're going to launch uh, for VR. VR. So right. you purchase the 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 goggles, goggles and hook it into your PlayStation console, the PS4, and you can play games. We can watch movies. How much do you think something like that's? Uh, actually, I think it's about three ninety nine. Oh. So it's actually the least expensive of what's what, what's coming out. Right. And this is for the, the uh, headset. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the PlayStation Four. Yeah. Now. You tried on something like that, didn't you? I did. I don't remember where. Yeah. It's probably the Ocu who, who Oculus made Rift, or say the Oculus yes. Rift. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And it was really uh, an odd feeling because as you turned your body, mm -hmm. you know, you could see different things. You know, you were in a room, 360. A virtual reality. And, and then if you took it off in the middle of the room, it was the wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> it's like another world. You're living in another world. Now, were you awake at this time? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is this is going to have a huge effect oh. on uh, because it means three hundred and sixty mm -hmm. three hundred and sixty entertainment, right, right. and you and you know talk talk about the extra resolution, mm -hmm. talk about the frame rate, uh, talk about conceivably uh, you know three D, and with this Oculus thing, uh, wow, you're there. This is out of uh, this is out of that movie. Uh, forget the movie. Inception. Uh, no. Minority it. Report. That's it. Minority good. Minority <laughs> Report. Where you know this technology becomes ubiquitous, mm -hmm. so you guys are you guys are going in that direction. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you have you have a whole line of products out or coming out with this. Not yeah. for VR well, yet. For the PlayStation, yes. Yeah. For the PlayStation and this app that you mentioned that mm -hmm. on the TVs. Get 4K, yeah. How much is that? So it's based on the uh, the movie that you rent or stream. Oh. So you don't actually um, buy anything. It's a more a renting or streaming service. Or for that one movie. So any movies that we have available that you can stream over to the TV, or or if you're part of that ultraviolet service, right? If you so if you buy, um, say you buy a, a Blu-ray DVD, and some of the Blu-rays come with the, the the digital copy. If it's a if you sign up for the ultraviolet digital copy, you should be able to you'll be able to get that 4K version. So, and then you know, in order to do this virtual reality thing, you have to have a virtual reality camera, don't you? Yeah. I mean, you can't take this p picture when you need a picture all around you. Or you need multiple cameras. Yeah. So it's a stitch thing, isn't it? For now, yes. Multiple yeah. cameras and software that stitches it into a 360. Correct. That'll be what comes out. I'm looking forward to that. And will it be out by uh, December when we do our Christmas show with you guys? <laughs> well, <laughs> technically, that PlayStation 1 should be launching in the fall, this fall. Perfect. Right. You can bring it and show us. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sony is really alive and well, isn't it? You guys are doing well. We've been doing, you know, really well the uh, past two years, and uh, we're just going to get bigger and stronger. How big are you in Hawaii? How many? I know your offices are right across the street, mm -hmm. and do you have a uh, showroom too? No, no showroom. No showroom. It's just your office. Just our sales okay. office. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, go on the website. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're everywhere though, and and the and the. Um, the, uh, the professional broadcasters uh, prefer your stuff, mm -hmm. especially the cameras, right? It's, it's the industry standard. Yes. It's the amount of experience, too, that we've been developing this kind of technology for, for many, many years. You know, we're the first company to come out with a high-definition camera system, allowed us to capture in high-definition. And eventually that became a standard where we broadcast that to your TV screens 
uh, throughout the war. Well, that's one thing I learned is that if you <clears throat> that you can't make a, a, a silk purse out of a sow's ear. You have to get as much information as possible. You have to get high definition to begin with. Mm -hmm. And the, all the software in the world isn't going to fix it if you don't have that high definition to begin with. Now it's shifting to an IP-based system. So instead of your traditional cables, as you were talking about, yeah. everything is going through the Internet. Yeah. And yeah. so Sony announced uh, several products this year to, to kind of fill in the, the new backbone of the IP um, streaming, um, you know, technologies. Okay, you, you're both going to go next year? Because if, so, so. if you both go, then maybe we can get Carol to go again. <laughs> sure. That'd be great. It'd be fun. Then we have to have dinner or something. Sure. Yeah. It was a huge social experience, you know. Was. Although, it, it, I tell you, you know, both Carol and I got really tired. Oh, yeah. It's it's walking exhausting. Around. It is. It is. Oh. I hope you had comfortable shoes. Oh, yes. Okay. I had comfortable yeah. shoes. Yeah. This was, this was just amazing distances in all directions. Cover. And um, anyway, Carol, we're out of time. Okay. Can you, can you wrap this up and summarize this in a way that will, you know, put, put the lid on it? Okay, well, uh, this year is NAB, National Association of Broadcasters Show, in Las Vegas, which Jay and I attended for the first time. But our guests, Topher and Ted from Sony, have attended in the past, and of course Sony is a big presence there. Uh, we are proud to be a part of this industry, and I think we both realized how important the industry is and how much we can learn to help our community, our think tech audience, by being always there on the state of the art and understanding and learning more from you so that we can provide the best experience. Yeah, and with, uh, with this new equipment, the cost of entry is that much less. The other thing that I came away with, see if you agree, you guys, is that we, think tech, doing our streaming and our internet thing, we're in the center of something. This is ultimately where it's going to go. Your big TVs are soon enough going to carry our content. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's exciting. Right here. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Ted. You. Thank, Thank you, Tony. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Great to talk to you. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha.